The tragedy of Typhoon Haiyan continues to unfold across the Philippines. Our senior hurricane expert Brian Norcross has been on the ground in some of the hardest hit areas to investigate the storm damage. He joins us live this morning from the city of Tacloban. And Brian, what have you seen as you've been there over the last couple of days? Stephanie, it is absolutely unbelievable. We're going to show you some pictures in one precinct. Here they call them barangays, like the lower ninth ward. Well, here it would be the lower ninth barangay. But when you look at these pictures, what I want you to do is multiply by a couple hundred thousand. It is really the magnitude of it is unbelievable. Now on this map, you can see when we go in, you see downtown Tacloban, you see the airport, and on that little peninsula there is Barangay 88. And that's where we wanted to investigate how high was the storm surge and how strong were the winds. Here's the reality of this neighborhood. People take a tarp for good news because they can put it on some sticks and make that a temporary home. Of course, this was always a poor area here. The water came through here was incredibly high. How high was it? Well, we went across the street to the Barangay City Hall there to look on the second floor for evidence. Here on the second floor of City Hall, we see in these bookshelves some evidence of seagrass up there. And one of the things you look for is in confined areas, do you find any evidence that the water was in there? Let me show you how high we are here. My guess is we're standing about 12 feet off the ground here, and you see we're not very far from the water. So the storm surge came right through here, ran into this building. They said it came up well into this second floor, so that's making it up into the 17, 18 foot range. And then look at that. It went right across this little body of land and on into the water. To try and figure out how strong the winds were here, we can look at these palm trees. Notice they were not defoliated. And that means that this did not get the brunt of the typhoon. If it had been category five here, those palm fronds would have been stripped off completely. So we know that we were north of the worst of the winds, but certainly did get the worst of the storm surge. And here's more evidence of how strong the winds were. Look at this house. This house could be in Florida, and it sustained significant damage. Look at the soffits ripped out there and damage to the roof. And of course, the water went all the way through it. But the roof is still mostly on, and there is not tremendous damage to the windows. That tells us that the strongest winds did not hit here. I wouldn't estimate these winds being more than Category 3. So the picture is becoming clearer that here in Tacloban, Category 3-ish wind, but incredible 20-foot storm surge or so. To the south, Category 5 winds for sure. We went and investigated that today, and we'll show you that tomorrow. As you look at those neighborhoods, just picture in your mind those people living there. It was torrential rain here just a few minutes ago. It has been extraordinarily windy and rainy, and we just wonder what was going on with those people that were living under that tarp tonight. And again, multiply that by tens of thousands in this city in the Philippines. Reporting live, Brian Norcross, back to you, Alan Steph.